In this problem, we have to find a confidence interval for the population being mu. Let's go ahead and read the question. It says, in a study of speed dating, male subjects were asked to rate the attractiveness of their female dates, and a sample of the results is listed below. So 1 is not attractive, and 10 is extremely attractive. We have to construct a confidence interval using a 95% confidence level. So in this problem, because we have to do a confidence interval for a mean, we have to decide if we're going to use z or t. So they give us nothing in the problem. In particular, they don't give us the population standard deviation. So remember, if you're given the population standard deviation, you use z. And if you're not given the population standard deviation in these problems, you use, that's a, that's a z there, sorry, <laughs> you use T. So we're going to use T. Generally, when they give you a bunch of data, it's always going to be T. So if they, give you, if, you, if they give you a bunch of numbers, it's probably going to be T. So you click on this little box here, and you click Open in StatCrunch. Okay, let's try it. Beautiful stuff. And then we go to Stat, T, one sample, and then with data. Let me scoot it over so you can see it. So Stat, T, one sample with data. Okay, then you left click. Then it says ratings. So you have to select the column that says ratings. And we're doing a confidence interval. And then you just click compute, which is down here. Let me do that again. So from scratch, click the little box. Click open in StackCrunch. OK. Then you go to stat t one sample with data. Click ratings, because that's the name of the column where the ratings are and select confidence interval. It was 95% in the problem, so we leave it at 0.95. Then just click compute. And let's see how many decimals it wants. It wants one decimal. Okay, so 5.5, I'll go ahead and write it down, and 8.2. So 5.5 and 8.2. Okay, alrighty. So we just enter it here. So 5.5 and 8.2. Two. Okay, 8.2. Okay, it says, what does the confidence interval tell about the population of all adult females? Well, it doesn't say anything about the population of all adult females. See, the people here who are rating the females are male subjects in a speed dating competition, right, or a speed dating event. Um, so they are not representative of the population, and neither are the females, right? Um, these are only people who go to these uh, speed dating things. So I would say the results tell us nothing about the population of all adult females because participants in speed dating are not representative, are not a representative sample of the population of all adult females, right? So this is only people who do speed dating, so it's not representative of the entire population. So go ahead and click check answer, and that's it. I hope that made sense.